back to my YouTube channel. Now it has been a long, long time since I have posted any video on my YouTube channel. So I thought let's just start again with a very beginner friendly smoky eye look. And that is why I have uh, created this very beautiful and very easy smoky eye look for you guys. And the best part about it is that it can be done by somebody who has hooded eyes like I do. And they look so put together but it takes just five minutes to do this eye look and and if you want to learn that then please hang on tight let's just get into the video <laughs> As you can see I have a very hooded eyes that means my crease which is which should be here is under the flesh and is under the hood so for these type of eyes it is very important to create a false crease and today we are gonna create a very basic smoky eye look using just few colors nothing too fancy nothing too hullabaloo and for that I'm gonna be using this palette, this is the Huda Beauty's Smoky Obsession palette. It looks like this. It has all these warm shades, including a black, and also it has some of the pigments which can be used as a lid color or a or a halo color but that is for another video today we are only going to be playing with the matte colors first color i'll be taking is this color this is the lightest color in the palette which will work as a transition color to blend or diffuse the black later also note that i have already prepped my eyes with the concealer before putting any eyeshadow so i'm going to be taking my time with blending and for that i'm going to be using the wind wiper motions and circular motions to blend next i'm going to be taking this darkest brown color from the palette and i'm going to be taking it on my outer corners of the eye always note that while doing a black smoky eye you first do your transition color and then your outer corner color and then move to black otherwise you will have no control over the black and the black will go all over the place and it will be very difficult for you to blend it later as you can see, I am using the circular motions to blend the color. Now blending is the key in a smoky eye. Blend as much as you can because blending will get you to perfection. Now I am going to take the first color that we took and using the most fluffiest brush that I can find, I am going to blend the two colors together. That is the transition color and the outer corner color. It is very important to diffuse the two colors together. Otherwise they will create a very harsh effect and will not look so pleasant. As you can see, the two colors look very much diffused together and now it's time to move to the next step. For this step, I'm going to be taking the gel liner and putting it on the center of the eyelid. Do not worry about it being perfect because we are going to blend it with the black color later. Do not take it above the crease. Never take the black color above the crease or you will end up with panda eyes. Now I'm going to take this black color which is the most beautiful and gorgeously pigmented black color and taking it on this fluffy brush again. This is the blending brush from Morphe and keeping the color below the crease and blending the gel liner with the black using again the same circular motions and the windshield wiper motions now after we are done with this we are going to move to the first color that we use and blend any harsh lines that could be visible now do you see the pattern we are again and again going back to the first color just to create a very faded effect and blend the eye colors that we are using otherwise so we've used just three colors to create this eye isn't it amazing feel that you have lost any black color on your eyelid you can go back to it and then can repeat the process there are no rules to how you should go about now it. since i like the gradient and i like the density and the opacity of the colors that i've put on my lid as per my liking i will move to the inner corners and then my lower lash line for the lower lash line i'd be using the same colors that i've put on top excluding the black because black can make your look really 
really small sometimes if you have hooded eyes like mine then you must definitely avoid a black liner or a black um, lower lash line now basically what i'm doing here is i'm taking the same color gradient and using it on my lower lash line the first color that i'm using is the transition color that i used on the lid and blend it the next color that I'm going to be taking is the darkest brown color that we took on the eye and diffusing it with the transition color again. Please take your time at smoking the lower lash line as well. Otherwise, it could look really harsh and not so pleasant. Now, I'm going to take this highlight color and put it on my eyebrow bone. This is a very beautiful rose gold color. I will place it right there. Can you see the difference? This eyebrow bone has a highlighter effect and this side is like really mad. So it is very important for us to highlight just to give that oomph to the eye look. Can you see? I'm gonna take the same color and pop it on the inner corners here. Today I am going to be using a brown liner, it is from MAC and that is it, we are done with the eyes. Now I will put my mascara and some lashes and we'll come back and show you the whole look in a minute. So I am back, so as you can see I have applied my mascara and I have popped on some very beautiful lashes. Now this look is only complete when you put lashes. They look really nice. If you want to go for a night out, I would suggest you to apply lashes. But if you are a sort of a person who does not like putting lashes, then a mascara would do. Apply some sort of lengthening mascara and you are good to go. And that is it you all. I hope you enjoyed it. Please don't forget to like, share and comment and also subscribe to my YouTube channel and please hit the bell icon before you leave. I hope you really liked this look as much as I do. Um, I'm really really enjoying how it is looking on me. What do you have to say? Um, just comment down below and tell me if you like this look and if you'd want me to do more such looks then I will be really happy to film that for you guys. Now I'll take Take your leave and I'll see you the next time.